Hey, Wibbiters. Kevin here from Wibbit.net, welcoming you to another exciting Wibbisode episode. That was terrible. I'm your host, Kevin from Wibbit.net, and what we're going to do in this Wibbisode is a very, very, very brief overview of some ways that we can use Open Graph to display an article in a social networking website, such as Facebook. What I wanted to do is first kind of show you what the end goal is, and then show how we can work into it. Now, Open Graph is a um, is basically a tagging mechanism, if you will, where if you just go to OGP.me, you can see some very simple stuff about how Open Graph works and how the meta elements work for embedding in social sites. So you can look at this on your own time. Um, but there is some very interesting stuff here, and it can get simple, and it can get complicated. But in any event, what I'm going to do is show you how you can format an article similar to this post that we have here on our Wibbit Facebook page. So we just have this URL that was posted. We have a nice big image here with the title and the description down here. And then when you click on this, it will launch this post. So what I did was I built a very simple web page here and there's really nothing to it. I just have a uh, simple, and pretend like it's 1995, right? <laughs> I mean, as far as how this looks, but what this is supposed to mimic is this top part is the navigation bar of my website. And this link that we're on is an article that has an image. It has a title. It has some paragraphs and some data. So what I want to do is take this and I want to be able to take this URL and post it on a social networking site like Facebook and have it look something like this. So this is a Facebook profile that I have. I don't really use this profile. This is not my personal one, but this is one that I do use for, for Wibbit purposes. And what I want to do is I want to post this article here. I'm not going to actually like submit it, but I'm going to let it render itself. So let me just copy this URL and paste it here. And let's see how Facebook pulls this out. Now, Facebook pulls out, it does pull out the title of the web page, and it does pull out the description in the meta tag. So let me actually pull up the the, uh, the source code to this web page, and, and let's take a look at this. So we have the title of the web page here, the web page description in the meta tag that says this is a test web page for a Wibbit.net video tutorial. And all that I have is a very simple nav tag with a table inside. Again, like I said, this is pretend like it's 1995 with my logo here and then some links here to a couple of different navigation points. My article down here that has an image, the title of my article, and then a couple of paragraphs that belong to my article. So you can see that Facebook is pulling out information that's up here, and it's not pulling out any information about my article here. Now, a web page can be complicated, right? I mean, you can have a big main page that has embedded data inside of it, and uh, you know, you have a navigation bar, all kinds of all kinds of stuff, you know, that you want to provide to your users. But if you want to post this article and you want it to be linked to your main web page where the article exists, you can use Open Graph to do that. So you saw what this looked like. Let me pull the Facebook post back up. You saw. This looks pretty crappy, right? I mean, this this is not a very attractive looking post. So I'm going to delete that and uh, that'll be that. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to Google um, Facebook open graph debugger and it should be the very first hit here. Facebook provides an open graph debugger that you can paste the URL in here and then we'll scrape it and tell you what's wrong with your URL and what you can do. So if I were to paste this URL in here and hit debug, right now it says, all right, well, we got some stuff here. You know, here's how your post is gonna look, which you saw, right? I mean, it looks pretty crappy. There's no picture and it's just crap. And it tells you, you know, here's a couple things that are wrong with it that you should fix. Here's the image that we parsed out, which was nothing. And here's the description that we got type, blah, blah, blah. All right, what we wanna do is we want to add some open graph tags so that Facebook will be able to parse this out and make it look nice. But what we'll do is I'm actually going to put this in a different web page. So I will create a page called page two. Okay, so now I have page two. So page one will leave unchanged and page two will have the tags in it. So here we go. What I'm going to first do, I'll just put a comment here that will just say open graph tags start and then I'll do an open graph tags end. So the first thing, let's just, let's just do a simple one. So let's do a meta tag property equals and then content equals and that'll be the end so let's do let's do the uh let's do og colon type and let's make this article okay so i'll save that and let me run to the facebook debugger real quick and i will change this from page one to page two and scrape it again so there is not much changed except for at least Facebook says, hey, cool, at least we have an article here. Wonderful. So let's keep moving down this path. And what I'll do also, I'll go to 
page two just to kind of show that this page will be exactly the same. So let's keep moving. So we've specified the object type as an article. Now specify the URL so that you know, anything that scrapes this will know what URL to redirect to. So the URL, I will just put the full URL to that page here. So there's that. And if I were to go back to the open graph debugger, you will see now that the URL is being parsed out. So we'll do a fresh scrape. And let's see here. The URL, cool. So we have the URL. Fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful. Now let's do one called title. Now the title will actually end up being the same because it was parsing out this, but I will say title will be that, but instead of wibbit.net colon colon, I will erase it and say webisode open graph test. And if we run out to the debugger and refresh it again, we see the title is a oh, webisode open graph test. Fantastic. Keep rolling. The next simple one that we're going to do is description. Now what I'll do for the description is I'm just going to copy the very first paragraph and I'll stick that in here. Cool. Oop. Let's see, I can make this prettier if I just knock this down right here. There we go. All right. Uh, now, instead of refreshing it over and over again, let me then add an image. And I typically like to, when I put images for articles or that kind of thing inside of open graph tags, I like to make it a, you know as big as I can. So this one, as you can see, we have this set at 558 by 270. I have another image that I'm going to put here. And I know we don't need to, but I'm going to put the fully qualified URL with HTTP wibbit.net just in case something, you know, like a new social networking website pops up or you make one yourself and you, you know, you're not considering this, the, the, this web server or the, the base href. This will reference the entire thing. So what I'm doing is I'm actually telling it to look at a bigger image. It's the same image. It's just actually bigger. So if I save this and go back to the open graph debugger, and I scrape it, I can scroll down and see here, it says that you have a image, great, description, blah de blah And one thing I have found too is this thing doesn't always, like this thing caches, doesn't really do a good job at refreshing. So my image is not here, but if I were to copy this URL, go back to the Facebook profile and paste this in here, you will see now my article has a nice, picture right here, as well as the title that I wanted and the description that I wanted. So if I were to post this, it'll be a nice looking article that is attractive to people that may be looking at my social networking site. So this is beneficial. Like if you're just doing some basic marketing for your company or writing an article or blog on your own personal website, that's not being hosted somewhere else, you know, so open graph is a really cool and very simple way that you can add some very simple tags into your HTML code to make your content more attractive in social networking websites. Thank you very much. See you guys in the next webisode.